In this video, I will show you how to run MATLAB Production Server in the cloud with the Amazon Web Services Reference Architecture. This is one of several reference architectures to help you get up and running with MATLAB on the cloud. This reference architecture contains all the components necessary to run MATLAB Production Server on AWS. The cloud formation template deploys the following services in a stack a virtual private cluster, or VPC, an EC2 virtual machine that acts as the license server and cloud console server, by default, two virtual machines that run MATLAB production server in an auto scale group, although this number can be changed during provisioning, a load balancer, and an S3 bucket for log files. We'll get started by navigating to the GitHub repository for the MATLAB production server reference architecture. This page has the detailed instructions that I use for this video. Before getting started, make sure you have the following, an AWS account, a key pair for your AWS account, and a MATLAB production server license. Once you have these, we can get started. Click the Launch Stack button to begin the process. Note that you have the choice to deploy either to Windows or Linux VMs. Sign in to your AWS console if prompted. You'll be taken to the AWS console, where you first give your stack a name. Then, select an existing key pair that you created earlier in the EC2 console. If you wish to secure your connections with HTTPS, enter the ARN for your SSL certificate here. The number of worker nodes specifies how many production server VM instances you wish to run in your deployment. The default is 2 to provide some degree of high availability, but you can change the count to any number you wish as long as you keep the overall worker count below the number you have licensed. You will then be asked to specify an instance type. This is the size of the machine that is running production server. We have provided a reasonable default choice of a 4V CPU machine. We recommend 1V CPU and 2 GB of RAM per worker process. Refer to the MATLAB production server documentation for more details on system requirements. Enter a CIDR or IP address range for clients that can connect to your production server deployment. This helps to secure your servers by restricting access to only those clients from these address ranges. In the next field, choose whether you want to allow access from the public internet. You can also specify if you want the template to create a Redis cache to store persistent data. Finally, check the box to acknowledge that AWS will create resources and click the Create button. Once the deployment has successfully completed, you will see a status complete in the status field. Open the Output section and look for the key labeled MATLAB Production Server Instance. Click on the link in the value column, which will take you to that server instance. Now click the Connect button on the top, and in the dialog box, click on Get Password. Then click on Choose File and supply the PEM file for your key pair. Click on Decrypt Password. This is the password that you will use to access the cloud console. Copy the password somewhere safe so that you will remember it. You will need it in the next step. Go back to your stack detail output section and look for the key labeled MATLAB production server VM. Click on the URL in the value key. You may receive a warning message from your browser about visiting an unsecure site. This is due to the use of a self-signed certificate. You can change the self-signed certificate to a CA signed certificate to eliminate this error. Details on how to do so are found in the GitHub repository. Log in using the username administrator and password you decrypted in the previous step. The Cloud Console shows you the current status of your production server deployment. We specified two VM instances earlier. Each one of these instances is running four MATLAB workers, giving us a total of eight workers. A typical production server license contains 24 workers, so you can scale up to six VM instances. The URL endpoint to call your functions from your client application is displayed prominently on the Cloud Console. 
The first thing we need to do is to get the host ID or MAC address of the license server. We will need this to generate our license. For the Cloud Console, go to the Administration tab and choose License. Provide the license server host ID to your sales rep if you are obtaining a trial license. Otherwise, provide the host ID to your license administrator who has access to the MathWorks License Center to generate a license file. Once you receive the license file, usually with a .lic extension, select the file from the File Open dialog and then upload the file. You are now ready to upload a production server application. We'll go to the Applications tab and click on Upload Application. Production server applications are packaged using MATLAB Compiler SDK in a CTF file. Let's upload a Bond Tools CTF from the For Distribution folder of the project. Once the application has been uploaded, you can call its functions from your front end client. In this example, we have a web based front end client app that is calling the Bond Tools function we just uploaded to get the price of the bond. The web front end client app captures the input data in the fields, packages it into a JSON payload, and makes a REST call to the production server endpoint. If you no longer need to run MATLAB production server in AWS, first, empty the S3 bucket for your stack. The name of your bucket will be prefixed by your stack name. Then, go to the CloudFormation service and delete your stack.